12.3 million women owning their businesses in this country. And growing. Yeah. What do you believe is the common denominator? Candy said confidence. Uh, we heard uh, from the CEO of uh, Rent the Runway, kind of that same thing. What do you think it takes to boss up these days? Well, I, I do. I, I agree that it's confidence, but I think it's necessity, too. For too long, we've been knocking on a patriarchy's door that wasn't accepting us. You know, we see all the statistics that never seem to be changing. Only 2% of women get venture funding. Only uh, we have to be born in 2255 as a woman to get equal pay to a man. And that, to me, is just unacceptable. So what I see is you know, these women starting businesses because we need them as women, right? They probably see a need that's a gap that they didn't find for themselves, so they're out doing that. And they probably weren't welcomed into the traditional system and getting what they deserve and what they were worth. And for you, you enter the music industry, but you yourself, rural roots, you didn't always feel welcome to the table. You right. grew up in Seattle, in Washington, in Washington State. State. Yeah. State. Yeah. Um, and the odds, as you say, were against you. Exactly. Becoming a woman boss. Yeah. My mother didn't graduate high school. You know, no one in my family really went to school. You know, we were from a very poverty level um, community. And so no one really did that, but I had different plans. So I did. And so I thought, well, you know, uh, my passion was always equality of women, even though I was representing all these amazing people. Um, I watched, you know, how men give each other business. I was in a room full of men and I was like, well, why can't we just do it for women? Well, that's the thing. I love going in the room. <laughs> And to your point, you have a certain type of person that's allowed in the room. Right. And they keep the power and they share yeah. the secrets. And then we are all on the outside wondering, right. like, how do we get yeah. in or how do we yeah. get our own thing going? Yeah. So how do we do it? Well, I, I think that's, you know, what we're trying to do is build, like, a matriarchal system that deal, you know, that accepts us for who we are as mothers, as women, you know, being feminine and based on our schedule. You know, and I tell women all the time, like, you know, if that's hard for you and it's hard for everyone, what you have to think of is you're not representing that company. You're representing your kids. My kids are Jack and Nico. Yeah. I'm representing Jack and Nico. It's my obligation to represent them the best I possibly can because, you know, and it, if you don't have kids... It's your dog, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever like, your motive is. Whatever, yeah, Well, exactly. no, listen, you created the Justice Department where you yeah. teach women how to make money. To your point, you know, now when I'm going into a negotiation, I think, I'm doing this for my son. Yeah. I'm a 100-year-old mom. I got to exactly. leave him something. Exactly. You know, yeah. but before <laughs> I had my son, my mother, my mom, right. my dad passed away. My mom is on her own, and I am her support system. Right. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going in here for Mary and Tamron's legacy. Exactly. So I was not right. kidding around. Right. Right. You know, yeah. when I went in to negotiate. Yeah. But it's, it's finding that motivation yeah. that sometimes we can't focus in on. Right, right. So how do you teach it? Well, I mean, I think that's one of the biggest things is to really think about something outside yourself, right? Because women are taught to be communal and get along and, you know, and so we're like, no, okay, I, I'm okay with making, you know, that much money, but the guy in the office next to you is making a lot more. You know, you deserve to go get that much more because not only do you owe it to your your family or your dog or whatever you love so much but you also owe it to the people beneath you right you owe that to the young girls uh, young women coming up in the world too so you know and, and that's an extra motivation um but also you know one of the things that you know that really helps is to build your tribe right build those women women around you that are going to lift you up yeah. not the ones that are not right because we've, we've seen plenty of those but there are plenty of women out there that will help build you up and build those people and then hire the people around you that can actually give you the good advice, yeah. right? Because here's the other thing that women do all the time. <laughs> yeah. um, we, we don't... We don't want to burden anybody, right? Yeah. And so, like, we don't do our own nails, we don't do our own hair, we don't watch our own children, you know? Um, but for some reason in business, it's like, oh, I can do it all. But we can't. We need help, you know? Hire the attorney and the bookkeeper and the accountant, and it might seem like, you know, that costs a lot more. Or call in the favor. Or call in, call in the favor. calling in favors, too. Yes, it's like, exactly. can you help me do yes. this? I need you, yes. because I was raised by a community of yes. women. Yes. And that's something, yeah. we can't always afford an accountant. Yeah. But you can ask someone, do you, can you yeah. help me? With, I need a few exactly. minutes to do this. And that's the thing. Build our tribe. Yes. Well, you know, congratulations on Thank all your you. success. Congratulations on the Justice Department. I love that name. Thank You're you. born with the last name Justice, so you got to use <laughs> I, it in I the title of your business. I had to use it. And we appreciate the advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much.